passing out supplies to people and just trying to do my part and help out. But they, they've really stepped up and I've kind of teamed with them. And people can go to ARH.org if they're interested in donating. Uh, supplies are very much still needed. Water, clothes, linen, uh, cleaning supplies, anything that you're willing to give. A little goes such a long way right now in such a desperate time of need. And what are you hearing in people? I mean, really psychologically, I mean, just in the piece that we ran right before you, do you hear uh, the gentleman there who said, you know, nothing's ever going to be the same. And he says, you know, this is a climate crisis. And he says, this is a climate crisis. And he says, if people don't do something, change the way they're doing things, then, you know, essentially that community and others are doomed. What do you say to people, or what are they expressing to you about psychologically what they're going through and how they're processing all of this? Yeah, you know, I think that's the hardest part. You know, I think, you know, for me, you know, seeing all the images come across TV and the internet, you know, before I had a chance to go down there, just seeing the devastation in person and talking to people that have directly been impacted, people that have literally lost everything. You know, I can't imagine waking up one day and I have no home, no clothes, no vehicle. Uh, and you just really have to start all over. So just getting to talk to those people and hear their stories and, and just see the heartbreak on their face of, you know, where do we go from here? How do, how do we recover? It's just, it truly impacts you and it breaks your heart. And that, that's why I really am trying my best to step up. You know, like I said, I'm from that area. It, it truly means a lot to me, the people in that area. Uh, they supported me throughout my entire football career, high school and college and through the NFL. So for me to get an opportunity to step up and help those people in a time of need is a no-brainer for me. I just want to do whatever I can to do my part to, you know, get them back on their feet and hopefully get them back to some way of normalcy in their, in their life. Yeah, and I know uh, it is very meaningful to so many people that you are stepping in and helping them out in, in all ways that you can. And now there's more rain today. And so uh, oftentimes when people have lived through disasters and there seems to be just an inkling of a repeat of 